no, no, no. Hey everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we are in Ringwood, New Jersey. We've got an existing pond that's gonna get a complete renovation. This is about a 20 year old pond that was a DIY project for the homeowners. Quite honestly, they did a great job. They've got a really nice shape in here. They used to have a waterfall in here that's no longer working, but when it was, it probably looked really nice coming down here because they had a seating area that we were able to enjoy the pond from this side. What we're gonna do is completely remove everything here. We're gonna bring the pond over closer to where the sitting area is. That's gonna do two things. It's gonna get it closer to the interaction area. Also, it brings it a little further away from the hillside here, giving us better visibility from the house. Along with bringing the pond over, we're gonna move the waterfall from here over to here. Now, looking out the windows, where the kitchen is, where the bedrooms are, where the deck is, you'll actually be able to see the waterfall and stream coming towards you. We're gonna do about an eight foot stream here nice little two foot of elevation on the waterfall. We'll use a lot of this stack stone to build up a wall on this side to retain where the waterfall is gonna start. And we'll also use some of it in the bottom to shape out our bottom shelf. This pond is going to be our Tranquility Series 7x10 pond. It's gonna get a stream extension on it as well as a fish cave. What's gonna be nice is when it's all said and done, it's gonna look like one of our ponds with that nice boulder work on top. We'll have a skimmer on one end, that biofalls filter on the other. We're gonna get rid of that old canister filter and all that plumbing coming out of the pond. So when you're looking at this, all you see is a beautiful, natural looking pond. You see the fish, you're not looking at parts and pieces. Step number one here is we've got our holding tank set up in the backside. We're gonna move the fish in their own water, which means we're gonna pump the water out of this pond into that holding tank. Then we get demolition started and get this thing torn out. Sometimes it's a challenge. These poor guys mucked around in the rain all day yesterday to make this happen and they got a lot accomplished. The pond's excavated, the skimmer is in place. They actually rocked in the whole bottom section, which is amazing because it just didn't stop raining yesterday, right? Yeah. <laughs> but today we get some things done because it's gonna be nice today. So first thing we'll do is get all this muck cleaned out of here. We had some runoff getting the pond last night and then Bowie's gonna hook up the skimmer. He's gonna attach the liner to the faceplate, get that all situated. Then the rest of this pond can get rocked in completely, which is gonna leave us our section over here to build our stream and waterfall. Now the idea here on the backside is since it's pretty vertical back there, we're gonna come up just above water level, then cut a shelf in so we can place some larger boulders on the hillside, essentially terracing it back so we can hold all that back. At the same time, it's gonna give us the ability to create that viewpoint from the house where as the terrace comes down, it just opens up the view where you can see that pond really nice from up at the house.
and we got a waterfall taking shape. I really think this nice little stream waterfall is gonna fit perfectly back here because you don't need a lot of elevation to make a really impactful water course. Right up top, we've got our biofalls filter. That's gonna be spilling out to the right into a pooling area up here. Then I wanna take, I wanna turn the waterfall this way where it comes into this lower pool. So that means we gotta bring a rock in here and frame this and put a weir stone here that's gonna let that cascade into here. Then we've got a couple rocks placed in our stream bed. They're gonna kind of kick the water around, get a lot of nice water movement action going through here and then coming off into the pond. And this is gonna actually hit from here down to this lower rock, which is gonna be just above water level. So it'll hit here and just kind of run into the pond. It'll create a nice little turbulent area. And the fish love that kind of stuff, that super oxygenated water. They'll be hanging out over there quite often. We'll go through and we're gonna pick a couple rocks to frame these last two cascades with and then we can find ones that are gonna fit as our weir. Sometimes we have to build up underneath the rock and then use a flat one on top if we wanna have like more of a sheet waterfall. But we can find a rock that we can just stand up vertical and slip in between those two frame rocks and it works out perfect. That's always ideal. comments are asking how do we do our edges do we fold the liner in do we fold it out how do we do it so I'll show you so we'll start with cutting our underlayment we'll cut that pretty far back just because if we end up with any of this underlayment inside the pond and it's in the water it'll actually slowly wick out a lot of that water so you'll lose water over time so with the liner which would be your next step is we cut it about a foot back from the top of the rocks because that gives us a buffer if we have any settling in the pond, any rocks move. We could pull this liner up and we're not working with no liner. And then you have a leak later on because you can't pull the liner up. So we'll cut it about a foot back and we always roll the liner into the pond because there's a lot of canals that get created. When you roll the liner, like it gets scrunched up and it creates a channel because the water will go where the easiest motion is so that way there's no effort. So it'll go right up any of these channels and right out of the pond and it'll leak. So we always fold it in because then those channels get folded back into the pond and you don't have to worry about it. So we always start from the back, roll it up nice and tight. What I'll do for a placeholder for the moment is I'll get a rock, I'll put it here and then we'll just put dirt right up to it. And we'll just go along the entire edges of the pond and pretty much do that. Or we'll put some rocks in some places, but that's how we do our edges. It's pretty simple. All we're doing is just disguising the corners of the pond, just so that way it's one less thing you guys have to look at. Let's go get Linda. So you ready to see? You want to see it from the bottom? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Better than I could have ever imagined. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, my husband put it in probably 25 years ago. Um, and he kept adding to it and, and fixing it up. And um, then he got sick and passed away about almost three years ago. And uh, I was having a hard time maintaining it. It was starting to collapse a little bit. So I decided it needed to be redone. And he would love this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 